The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Okay, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do this uh, one more time here. Uh, uh, hello? Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm having to monitor this um, for some reason. I did this video just a minute ago and to bring the first subject up to you. Uh, I told y'all a few, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 videos back that your movie maker program was being monitored. And if you do this quite frequently, they come in and shut off your devices and they don't work. So, they cut it off sometimes while you're in the middle of a stream and it just shuts off quits recording so I made this video already now this was new and added in that's enough of that uh, that ain't the reason why I'm here main reason why I'm here people and hello and some of the comments that I'm getting on on uh, the health care bill some of you are for and I guess you think I'm for it too. I'm not. Number one, it's unconstitutional. Thirteen reasons why. Uh, I'm not going to explain them to you and I'm not going to read them to you. There's a video on this channel right here, on this blog. You can go and listen to it be read to you. It's right here. At the end of this video, but I'm going to play a little clip of this right here and I want you to listen to it. And the reason why is I got some points to make here and I'm going to record it for you. And I'm only going to play part of it because I want you to hear it and then I'm going to let you hear another piece of one. But I want you to watch both of them so you get the whole just. Country, how are you listening? Or did you just I'm pick up the listening. phone? Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm driving, actually. I'm from Chicago to Detroit. But um, yeah. I heard you talking earlier about the government making, knowing, not knowing how to make pencils. And uh, then you talked about brain surgeons. And I happen to be a brain surgeon. So I uh, found your topic quite interesting and actually just returned from Washington, D.C., where we were reading over what the... Um, Obama health care plan would be for neuro, advanced neurosurgery for patients over 70, which we all found quite disturbing because as our population gets older, the majority of our patients are getting over 70 that it requires stroke therapy or aneurysm therapy. And basically what the document stated was if you're over 70 and you come into an emergency room and you're on government-supported care, that you get comfort care. And Wait a minute. Where, where, what, what document and where did you? What's the this, source for this? This is uh, the um, Obama's health. Okay, everybody. You know, there's a little bit of noise changeover when I swap from one mic to the or swap the mic around here a little bit. And then I want to show you this. But before I get to this point right here, I want to explain some more to you. This video was quite a bit longer, as you can see. We only went, you know, so far. You can go and watch, you know, it's about four minutes long. But the reason why I'm making this and I'm putting it together is because I want you to understand that Obama at one time said that he was going to uh, make it... he was going to make older people comfortable but anyway and they explain something else to you some of you think that I don't have a heart but I do and I lost my parents lost my father uh, he was 72 years old. He had open heart surgery. Died two weeks later. 
and he died because he had lung cancer and they took part of his lobe and they said it was melanoma the doctor was sure it was melanoma well it come back that it wasn't it come back that it was oak cell same as small cell lung cancer well that's one of them cancers that you don't cut on well it attacked the weakest part of his body which was his heart he lived two weeks and I lost my mother about a year before that a year and a half before with the same cancer she lived three and a half years till it got in her brain and it killed her and I do have a heart folks I love my parents dearly and miss them especially my dad right now with all this going on he's a good person to talk to but my parents could be alive if they knew this man here and I want you to listen to this video and this video is an hour and 40 minutes 48 minutes long that's a long video but I would appreciate it if you watch the whole thing and spread the information to everyone you know now I put this video on here but it's also on another blog and it's got a lot of information underneath which uh, in fact I think I will take you to that so you can actually read it yourself so hold on a second now here's the video on the other blog and both links will be in the description area oh and before I get too long into this video um, I'm gonna put this video on tattoo 1009 uh, but it's only gonna be 15 minutes long and I'm sure that it's going to run a little longer, so it's going to be on Tattooed 1109 for the whole thing. So I'm letting you know that now, and I'll do it again at the end of the video. And I won't be splitting it up on that one, but on Tattooed 1009, I don't have to. I only have 15 minutes. They took it away from me because of third party copyright. They gave me a strike, so that's neither here nor there. But anyway, you can read this information. I want you to. I want you to go look at the information. Check out the information for yourself. You've got to watch the video. There's a lot of information. There's a 1-800 number down here for cancer people that have cancer. Um, that would cure a lot of problems in our country if we could cure cancer to start with. And I think this man is on a good point of doing so. So, with no further ado, I'm going to let you hear a little piece of this. And then I want you to go watch the rest of the video. years old Kristen developed a highly malignant brain tumor that had spread throughout her spine and her brain the doctors told us that we had really two options take her home let her die or bring her in for massive dosages of chemo and radiation simultaneously in either event she was going to die they were quite certain of that and very quickly uh, believing her only chance to be the standard route we gave her the chemo and radiation it burned her skull so bad she had second-degree burns and her hair never came back to change her diapers, we had to wear rubber gloves because her urine was so toxic and it burnt her. At the end of six months, miraculously, she survived the standard treatment, although there was a high expectation she wouldn't. Um, she still had cancer. We were told, sorry, we've done everything we can. Now she's going to die, probably within a couple of months. My wife and I, choosing not to accept that, started reading. The first book I picked up, the third chapter, discussed Dr. Brzezinski. Um, as you may guess, I have some expertise in fraud. In fact, I'm quite certain there are enough attorneys in the room that I could be bored as an expert in fraud. 
and I conducted my own investigation. I have no doubt the man is not a fraud. I have no doubt that he does what he does out of earnest belief that his medicine works. And now you're in a position to judge for yourselves whether it works or not, but it's well established by the FDA that it's non-toxic. Eighteen months later, we took my daughter off the antineoplastin. She had not died. She had no signs of tumor. She remained free for 18 months of cancer. Within a month, the cancer was widespread in her brain. We put her back on Brzezinski's. By the way, at the objections of our doctors, for some reason, felt that it had failed her. We put her back on. Within nine weeks, the tumor was completely gone. She died last July of neurological necrosis. Her brain fell apart from the radiation. The autopsy showed that she was completely cancer-free. Out of 52 cases of that disease ever, no one died cancer-free, just Chrissy. So she didn't die of a terminal illness. She died of my inability to care for her properly. And she died from bad advice. She died because there's a government institution that disseminates false information and is not looking out for the welfare of the people. You know, ladies and gentlemen, all on somebody else's reasoning because they don't want the truth out, folks. Anything that has anything to do with the real truth, like uh, the Act of 1871, they don't want you to know that. Don't y'all understand that? They don't want you to know the real truth. They've been hiding that from y'all for years. They ain't never told you about none of that, ever. When they passed that law, they didn't have TV, they didn't have satellite, they didn't have, they didn't have none of that. It had to be pushed out from people by mouth. And of course, you know how the government is. You don't think they're going to do that, right? So y'all think about all that stuff, I'm telling you. We're talking about years ago. We didn't have nothing like we got today. Hell, back then they were still riding horses and wagons. The so people, come on now, I mean, you know, use, use common sense here. We have problems in this country. We have serious problems in this country. And the reason why they're going around the Constitution the way they're doing is because of that act. That was the first one and should be reversed so it can be the last one. Because Obama and Bush signed how many? Obama's done sign on 936 or whatever. And I don't know how many uh, that Bush did. He signed a bunch of them too. And we got the Patriot Act. We got the NDA bill. We got the S-510 bill. We got all of those bills and all those executive orders that don't mean nothing, folks. It don't mean nothing if we, the people, will take and fight the Act of 1871. And I mean damn right dog nasty if we have to. It's time, people. It's time or your grandchildren or your children and their children and their grandchildren If this country makes it far enough with the bills and the laws and the corruption that's going on in government, don't destroy, don't destroy us all. So people, it's up to you and me and everybody else to fix these problems. I hope that I can get a message out to y'all to where you can see the truth 